Welcome to this presentation on fraud and anomaly detection using Oracle Advanced Analytics option. This is part one where I'll cover concepts and then I'll have a follow on part two where I'll go into the actual demonstration. Hello, my name is Charlie Berger. I'm the Senior Director of Product Management for Data Mining and Advanced Analytics at Oracle Corporation. This is our legal disclaimer which we're obligated to show in every public forum. And so fraud, this is an example that came up a couple of years ago that I thought was quite interesting where it was the largest federal health care takedown uh, in the nation's history at the time. I'm sure there's probably been larger ones since. But uh, the false billings to defraud Medicare totaled $225 million. And this was a takedown of a number of different uh, doctors, nurses, and healthcare executives. Um, and what's interesting is the quote from Catherine Sibelius uh, talking about for every dollar the federal government spends in its healthcare fraud and abuse control programs, it averaged a return uh, of investment of $6.80. So the point being that there's a lot of fraud and abuse, but there are tools and techniques to combat fraud. And we'll try and cover this uh, here. Now there is the American Society Society of Certified Fraud Examiners. It's a, a very uh, prestigious organization that has been noting different ways to detect fraud and actually publish this list of 20 ways to detect fraud. And they talk about unusual behavior where the perpetrator will often display unusual behavior. Um, They'll talk about complaints, they'll talk about excessive voids, missing documents, a number of different things to look out for, right? So this all seems pretty easy, huh? But in actuality, trying to implement this it's actually quite difficult. So you need to go beyond just human uh, ways to combat Freud. You need to go to more automated, data-driven ways to combat Freud fraud. Now here's my own personal example. I don't know if you can see the fraud in here, but this is actually my own personal credit card statement from a while back. And um, if you look at this, you might say, well, where's the fraud? Is it the Monaco Cafe? Was Charlie really in Monaco? Well, yes, I was, actually, and that was for business. So that's that's not fraud. If you look here, this, these are gas stations. Now, we don't know where these gas stations are, but if we did look up that data, it would turn out that this is in a location in Connecticut that I have not been to for over five years. I'm based in the Boston area, and I just haven't traveled through that part of Connecticut. Looking a little bit further, you might see, well, at a gas station, he's spending $75. That's an awful lot for gas, but notice they're all exactly the same amount, $75. Looking a little bit further, they're in pairs of $75 pairs that are one minute apart. So there's two or three of them here, all one minute apart. And if you looked at my, uh, if you use the SQL windowing functions in the Oracle database, for example, and you looked at my total purchases for gasoline over the, the long window of time compared to my most recent consumption of products at gasoline stations, you'd see quite a jump. So that's where the, the, the data would drive uh, the signal to say, hmm, something unusual is going on here. So here's a customer's story. This is Turkcell, one of our customers that actually uses uh, Oracle Advanced Analytics option to sift through uh, their data in a very rapid way. They have very, very large amounts of data, but they're looking for anonymous pre prepaid phone card fraud. And uh, it's a wonderful story. It talks about the total amount of uh, savings they get from, uh, from those efforts. And so we have functionality uh, that addresses this. It's called the Oracle Advanced Analytics option, and it involves uh, the, a number of algorithms and techniques that we've added to the database. And I don't know if you recognize those, uh, those gentlemen on the right-hand side, but these are all different famous mathematicians, famous statisticians, famous scientists. And uh, you'd see Gauss, you see Vapnik, you see Sir Edmund Fisher, and, and so on. And these uh, esteemed individuals have all developed a uh, mathematical formula that we've put inside the database, all except Einstein at the bottom. That was a uh, that was a, uh, a, 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 a wild card one that I threw in here. So what we've been doing is moving that inside the database, and now the database knows how to do these very very advanced computations. So we've really turned the database into a comprehensive advanced analytics platform what, that, that we say is the fastest way to turn data into actionable information. And so we have product functionality. It's called the Oracle Advanced Analytics option. It's very powerful. It's very easy to use. And it provides enterprise -wide, uh, an enterprise-wide platform for doing predictive analytics. So I'll cover that more in the demo in part two. 
So we're looking at data mining, the concept of automatically sifting through large amounts of data to try and find previously hidden patterns and in, develop insights, and in fact, maybe to make some predictions. And we're looking at the one, the second one from the bottom, the find fraudulent or rare events. This is a special technique called anomaly detection. And what we're trying to do is, when we have lots and lots of data, but very, very few examples of what we're looking for, you can't really fit a line through that data. It's very, it's very difficult to make a, a predictive model that, that, that locks on something that when there's not too many things to lock on, when there's, there's very few rare occurrences of, of, of what you're looking for. So what we're doing is we're looking for needles in haystacks, and haystacks are usually big. There's lots and lots of data, and the needles are typically very, very small, and they're very, very rare. So what we do is we look for what's different. We look what's, look at what stands out about that data. And here, just on a X1, th 2, 3, and 4 uh, concept, we're going to look at um, individual records and individual attributes like age, income, time of day, what state they're from, what, uh, uh, how much the uh, uh, dollar amount was for, and so on. And taken individually, they may stand out a little bit but not so much. But if you take them in combination, you see this uh, situation where they're all at one end or the other of the spectrum. Uh, they stand out collectively. They stand out as being a little bit different. So that's really what we're going to do with the anomaly detection algorithms. We're going to sift through large amounts of data in an automated way. So I'm always reminded of my famous statistician George Box who says essentially all models are wrong but some are useful. And here, as, G as Catherine Sebelius said, for every dollar spent, we get $6.80 of value. So we're going to look at the Oracle Advanced Analytics uh, option. And to do this, just to solve something like, say, tax fraud, uh, we set up a workflow. We set up our data. We might look at our data. We build some models. We apply that model to some new data. We might build some additional uh, uh, anomaly detection models. But we basically drag and drop these nodes onto our workflow palette and, and build predictive models. And be, prior to building the models, we may want to visualize that data, as we show here. And we can kind of look for to see if there's any patterns. Now, the idea is. It's probably complicated. If it was that easy, you would have been able to, to figure it out. But we're going to use more automated techniques. Here we're going to use something like a decision tree. Now, in the actual use of uh, fraud detections, we might go to more uh, complicated uh, techniques, such as our one-class support vector machine algorithm, which is designed specifically for trying to find very, very rare occurrences. But here's something that's easily visualized. Here is the anomaly detection algorithm showing for some insurance claims data how we look for these rare events, these little spikes, these things that stand out. And then for those um, uh, models, we can visualize the attributes and their relative importance in making a prediction. Now, the nice thing about doing this all inside the database is it's very easy to set up more sophisticated, more complicated analytical flows or analytical pipelines. And here, we take our, do our simple model flow where we take our claims data, we build a model, and then we apply it, and we rank and sort these as the most suspicious claims. But here's another concept. We take and do a clustering model, and we assign the records to more homogeneous subpopulations. And then for each of those different subpopulations, like infrequent high amount claims or repeat claimants, then we build separate anomaly detection algorithms on each of those and then flag those, uh, uh, flag those records. Here's how we would do it if we were just using the API and going straight into code. And by the way, with the Oracle uh, Data Miner GUI that's part of SQL Developer, we actually generate this code automatically for you. So in this case, it all runs entirely inside the database. Uh, it's a very fast performant uh, predictive model. And we have a whole suite of different al uh, algorithms and techniques that are available inside the database. We've been primarily focusing on the uh, anomaly detection algorithm in the center, the clustering algorithms, and the classification algorithms uh, at the top. But you can use these in, in isolation or in combination to solve very complicated problems. Um, and here's a potential way you might do that. Just do the anomaly detection as a single model. You might do the classification techniques or the clustering, or do a hybrid of number three and then number one. Or you might even do a panel of experts. I want to launch five or 10 or 20 different models. Why? Because you can do it. It's fairly easy to do these types of things inside the database. And so really, if you think about how easy it is to build these models and assemble, make the database, turn, turn the database into an analytical platform, 
it's pretty easy to build applications and that's a little bit of what we've been doing at Oracle. So we have something called the Oracle Adaptive Access Manager that again is looking for fraud and not to go into the details but based on your logins and your attempts and your devices and your browser and the time it's been since your browser we use clustering. We assign you to your typical cluster uh, behavior uh, segments and then when you come in exhibiting some sort of behavior that's non-traditional we flag you in real time because these models are in fact real-time models. Here's another similar situation or similar application this is doing spend classification so based on your purchases of say flat panel monitor and it gets filed away with with a text string that says flat panel monitor but it gets put in the bucket of say meals well we say we don't usually see the words monitor flat and panel uh, in the bucket where it says meals so we use the text mining to flag it as something that probably is misfiled and it could be fraud it could just be a mistake so in the next segment, I'll cover the actual demo of this and cover this live, but uh, if you want to get started, you can Google to Oracle Advanced Analytics and go down into the Oracle Data Mining uh, free Oracle by example training. You can send me an email and I'll be happy to send you my favorite links, which has the link have the links to many of the different resources. So with that, this isn't really the forum for any Q&A, so I thank you for watching this YouTube video. Uh, stay tuned and please watch the part two where we'll cover the actual demo. Thank you very much.